Hey team, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to explain how the target button works so you can fully understand how to use it. If you've already purchased Camera 3D Toolkit Pro, this video will clarify everything. And if you haven't purchased it yet, now is the perfect time. I'm offering 33% off for Black Friday. You'll find the link in the description, so take advantage of this deal. What is the target button? The target button allows you to move the camera toward a selected layer. I'm going to show you a very simple example to make this clear. Practical example. Let's say I have these images here. I'll take two of them for the demo. First, I'm going to reduce their size like this. Now, you know that creating the animation is very simple. You just click the quick button. But before I click, let me explain how to use the target button correctly. The anchor point principle. Let's imagine I want to animate the camera, and at the end of the animation, I want this image to be positioned here, not in the center. If I quickly create the animation by clicking quick, then select this image and click target, you see? The image positions itself directly in the center of the composition. Why? Because the camera is looking for the layer's anchor point. This is really important to understand. How to position the image somewhere other than center? Let me start over to make this clearer. I'll press Ctrl plus Z. Let's say I want the image to be here after the animation, for example. Here's what you need to do. Move the image to where you want it to be at the end of the animation. Take the layer's anchor point. Move that anchor point toward the center of the composition. Do you understand now? Second example. If I want this other image to be positioned here, I need to Use the pan behind tool, the anchor point tool. Move the anchor point to the center of the composition. Now, when I create my animation with quick, the image won't automatically center itself. It will stay positioned where I placed it. Watch, I position this image here. I set the timeline to about three seconds. I click target, you see? And if I do the same thing with this image, there you go. The image positions itself exactly where I want it. Let me show you the keyframes. Look, you see? The animation moves toward the position I defined. When all images should be centered. This is really important to understand because I've had several clients write to me about this. Now, if you want all your images to be automatically centered, you simply need to leave them with their anchor point in the center. Quick demo. I take all these images, I arrange them like this, I click quick, and now if I create an animation by selecting the images directly, you see? All the images position themselves in the center of the composition automatically. There you go, let's watch the result together. Now I'm offering 33% off for Black Friday. You'll find the link to download the plugin in the description. And there you have it. That's all for this video. I hope that was clear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon for another tip. See you soon.